What is going on everybody? It is your boy Daddy Mac and welcome to another Madden 24 video. So today we are going to showcase our game versus the Lions. There are a couple goals that we need to set up. Um, we need to look at everything that we got going on for us, the standings. And so it's going to be a little bit of a longer video than last time. So looking over our things here, our weekly awards. We got Jamal Adams, who else? Two interceptions, one forced fumble, one touchdown, seven tackles. And then obviously, Matthew Stafford getting, you know, player of the game is just, player of the game and player of the week is just, you know, <laughs> with the performance we had on defense. Nevertheless, we're gonna go over our weekly strategy. From what we need to do first is look over the scouting report and what we're going to do specifically, we're going to look at the stats. We're going to look at team stats first. So if you look over the Lions, the Lions rank at the bottom half on offense. So they're not the greatest offense in the world. Let's see, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. They're the 25th best offense in the league. I think with the Lions specifically, considering last week, we really need to try to focus on the run game. They have a pretty good amount of rush yards compared to their pass yards. Um, and they're obviously have 28 points per game. They got 28 points last week. So with that in mind, defensively, we're at the way bottom on defense. I mean, with last week's performance, we really should not be anywhere near the top. Our sacks aren't the greatest. Our interceptions are around the top. Um, obviously, the Rams being first place given Geno Smith's performance, but it is what it is. The Lions have a top five defense, um, and really the way we're going to get it done, we're going to have to get it done through the air. The the rush yards allowed, they're, they're going to be pretty tough. They're going to be really, really tough. We got Jared Goff who had 118 passing yards. I think we can shut down the passing game. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to make them beat us on the ground. Um, last week, we really did lose to both games, but I think we contained the pass really, really well. If we can contain both this week, that would be great. So rushing yard leaders, the David Montgomery is getting the majority of the carries with 98 rushing yards last game one touchdown so looking over this um they're a pretty balanced offense considering that they are in the bottom half obviously they're just bottom half because they couldn't you know put up the yards nevertheless though wide receiving core i i'm still gonna double team um st brown here and then let jamison williams beat us defensively we do have to look out for aiden hutchinson is a very good player that we need to look out for their cornerbacks are other players that we got to look out for um they the cornerback wise the best players there's going to be will harris and obviously cameron sutton so they're in my opinion very underrated players for corners the lions have one of the best defenses in the league not only speaking madden wise but irl they're one of the best teams in the league and i really do think that they have a shot of winning the nfc championship and going to the super bowl if they can you know get over the 49ers i think they can give the eagles a run for their money especially the cowboys but the 49ers are going to be very tough based off of our scouting report i think what we're really going to want to do is we're going to focus on defending the medium pass yeah if we can defend the medium and deep pass we should be okay for development we're going to go ahead and get the middle linebacker starters and i want to do half or full pads um, we're gonna split everybody with the exception of the linebackers and our cornerbacks Everybody else is on the older side. So we're we're okay at doing this Offensively, we're gonna want to develop our wide receivers So I still want DK Metcalf and everybody else to get their experience points Our left tackle would be really really good offensively Considering last week, we really want to throw it medium. I do agree with this now medium attempts. They rank at number 24 but if you look at their passer rating for medium, they're at number one and their medium compl um, completion rate. So this is going to be very tough. Again, look at these numbers. I mean, it's going to be really hard for us to do anything. If we can go ahead and throw it medium, maybe open up the deep pass. I think, um, yeah, because Aiden Hutchinson and that defensive line is not going to allow us to do anything. So focus wise, we're going to continue to do them. It's time to set up our goals for the game. So the first goal that we're gonna go ahead and do, we need to play a very clean game. No sacks allowed, I do agree with this. 
Um, under 200 yards, we, we simply, I don't think we can do that, not against this Lions defense and not um, based off of last week's performance. It's just not a realistic goal. So if we can get no sacks allowed, we're, we're going to be okay. Now, offensively, I really want to get 250 plus offensive yards. I think that's realistic considering where we were last week. I want to allow 24 points less. If we can allow less points than we did last week, that would be amazing and lastly what we're really gonna want to do we're gonna want to control the clock if we can go ahead and get 200 plus rushing yards and keep their offense off the field i think that's going to be the formula for winning and um, getting back on the winning column speaking of the winning column this is where we currently stand so we're gonna look at just the nfc for now the rams are number one in the division they got a division win um, I mean, they're just a very stacked offense, <laughs> Madden wise. And yeah, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Cardinals are number one or number two, I should say, with the 49ers at number three. We're literally at the way bottom and that's completely unacceptable. I do expect for us to be a playoff team this year. So I do expect for us to at least make wild card. If not, you know, win the division. I think that's pretty realistic considering you know, it is Madden. NFC East, um, the Eagles are second place with the Cowboys on first, Commanders and Giants, no surprise there. Falcons first place, Saints, Buccaneers, and Panthers all tied for, you know, uh, last place there. Bears are doing pretty good with one win under the belt. Vikings, Lions, Packers, Broncos, Chargers, Chiefs, Raiders, Bills, no surprise there, Jets, Dolphins, um, and then the Patriots. We got the Titans, Colts, Jaguars, Texans, and finally, the AFC North. We got Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, Browns. We're not going to go over through. We're not going to go over seeding positioning quite yet. It's way too early in the season for that. Looking over our injury report, we still got Tyler Lockett, who is out for one more week. That obviously is a pretty huge blow for us. If we look at the Lions, they have a pretty clean roster. Nobody is on the injury report, so we're going to have our hands full. It's week two of the National Football League. And coming up, we'll see DK Metcalf. He went well over 100 yards a week ago and found his way to the end zone. It's the Seahawks and the Lions, and it's all up next. The seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Seattle Seahawks taking on the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead, and we're off in week two. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. And Detroit getting set to go now. The 26. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Facing the number one rushing unit in the NFL, which means it's going to be a contest they've got to be prepared for from the first snap. Meanwhile, Goff's throw going into the hands of Williams. I believe, and so does he, that the show begins this season. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, his second rushing touchdown of the year. And the Lions get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Earlier in the week when they had their scouting report meeting, this was the explosiveness that they talked about trying to contain. They were concerned about it all week, yet he still did it to them. Wonder how that's going to carry over the rest of the game. Here come the Seahawks and their offense now under veteran head coach Pete Carroll. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. In the football and continue to establish the running game so they can get the play action and throw the ball deep later on. 
four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Plenty of talent in their class this year, some of which will contribute early and some which will be called upon down the road. The GM makes the final call after all the input from the scouts and the coaches. Now it's up to the coaches to develop the guys that the GM picked. Because the feeling was that it was a good, solid performance. They did what they needed to do to get the job done and get the win. But definitely a few lapses that they're looking to correct. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target. You get the feeling if they could score here, they would really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? They're second down and long. They'll keep pounding here with Montgomery. And he's able to get up here to the 26. Now Smith. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That completes it again to Metcalf here on third. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. Pass the 20. He will have the first down and a bit more. And did he get in? No. They'll mark him out at the one-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. Left side here taken in by Metcalf telling receivers about making sure you take care of the ball in open field. Sometimes the fighting for extra yardage doesn't come as a result. That and good tackling can lead to no yards gained. Now Gino. He finds Smith and Jimba in the end zone for the Seahawk touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Seahawks are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Going up the gut, Montgomery. 95 yards rushing now. They need money, too, to sack the quarterback. They also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. Sliding out of the pocket. And Walker has it. Will go down as a gain of six. On third down, here's Walker. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. On first and 10, it's Charbonnet. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First down Seattle on a pickup of 13. These two teams all tied after one. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. We'll get that to Charbonnet. And he is going to lose yardage here. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Straight ahead, Walker. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Here's Gaw. He's got his target. That's complete. Be a veteran receiver in that spot, so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively. Make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations. Out of the gun. Golf. They had a nice job there defensively. And how about this? A fake. And this is caught. And a gamble pays off. They get the first. 27 yards, a big play there on four. In other words, you leave your defense on the field, prepare for them to possibly go for it, and then you just have a little bit different responsibility. You're not really trying to get a big return. Montgomery is in for the Lions' touchdown. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. At the time, but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature and make sure you don't get hurt. 
Now throwing on third down there, but he can't. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's to Alvin Ross St. Brown. And able to break one tackle. Did you notice the look between the two of them as they came off the ground? That look did say the word respect. And he gets this one to midfield. In on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now gone. That is caught by Laporta. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. But he doesn't quite make it, taking it with an eyelash. Dropped at the one. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll run with Montgomery. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Lions go up by two touchdowns. So what a first half that he has had running the football. On second and ten, Smith going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in, touchdown Seattle. DK Metcalf. His second touchdown on the season. And the Seahawks are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. There is no doubt, and he's real hungry right now, isn't he? I mean, let's be honest about that. We don't have to be on the field when we stand with his time every night. And they always talk about just focusing on the next play. But sometimes it's okay to dream big yeah. because they I'm focusing on the fourth quarter already. <laughs> Listen, I don't blame you, though. Here's gone. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And that'll wind up moving the chains again. That route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Back to the air. Goff on second down. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. From 17 yards out. And they are able to add on to their advantage. So, well, I think Lady Luck was on his side. Second and ten, Smith again. That one taken in by Dwayne Eskridge. Now Gino. This one goes underneath to Walker. Got to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. On first down, Smith. Left side here taken in by Metcalf. Hand and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they were successful. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've reached halftime here in Detroit with the Lions out on top. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening week hit. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. And it's the Packers who have the lead in that one. Romeo Dobbs, a touchdown reception. From there, we move to H-Town to check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And you can see there, it's the visiting Colts who have the lead in that one. The rookie, Anthony Richardson, showing exactly why he was taken fourth overall. Three touchdown passes. Lastly, let's get up to Buffalo to check on the Bills. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Raiders. The Bills were winners last week. They're looking to get to 2-0, and and they lead it home. For the passing lanes, they've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. After the interception, here's Gall. Blitz coming, and down he goes. A lot of praise, and understandably so, from national media. 
Looking pretty good on that play, too. And I love what he told us this week before the game. He talked about how much time they spend working on pass rush moves. First down, they run again. Here's Montgomery. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Conversion here on third down. That's DK Metcalf running the slant. He's got it. Throwing on third down, Smith. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. It's Brian Branch with it. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way. This defensive group has figured this guy out to the tune of a big lead in this one. And you know that he's frustrated with how this game is gone. And now with back-to-back -back interceptions, he's got to find a way to get well, Hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jamison Rose. It has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout. Here's go, here's go. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45. They almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace. No chance to get away there for Smith. They'll run for it. It's Walker. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And from the gun, here's a handoff to Charbonnet. And he gets this down to the 18. Good enough for a first down. From the red zone now, Smith. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. Throwing now is Geno. Trucks over it. That's complete to his running back, Dallas. And the blitz pays off. Able to rally to And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Ken Walker, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. Now a play fake, and it's gone. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. They'll run with Montgomery. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. We have played three quarters. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. 34, out of the gun, Smith. Left side, he finds Smith and Jigba. Was for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer in the end zone for a second home. At the 40 yard line. They'll fake the handoff, now go off. That pass caught, it's Williams. Montgomery on the counter. And a good job of finding the open space to run it. Now it's Goff, off the bootleg. That is caught. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's like they're getting more aggressive to try to drive the ball downfield. And that will certainly... And in for the Lions, touchdown! Yeah, it's not always a wrong read when a play gets stacked up. Sometimes they're just at the line of scrimmage with just too many bodies to maneuver. For the angles that he takes to the ball, took a great angle right there. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. For almost no gain. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. Throwing on third, golf. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he is going to have the Lions first down. 
So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. Okay, post-game, that was not the best game um, for the second consecutive week. So I'm starting to think that um, where we need to build on this team is going to be the pass rush, number one, and number two, the run defense. Offense, obviously need a new quarterback. So going over the box score, we kept up, up until, um, and the reason you see this is because I'm playing on PC. And what's really frustrating is that it, anti-cheat thought I was cheating for no reason. Um, and that's why you see up to third point 24 or third quarter 24 points and 49. Nevertheless, they gained 530 yards, 410 yards. So I'm starting to think I also need to play with the timer and the sliders a little bit. Um, nevertheless, Jared Goff had himself a pretty decent game. Three touchdowns is actually pretty solid. Um, but the passing yards, we held him pretty well. Um, the one that had a monster game was David Montgomery. Five rushing touchdowns with 34 attempts and 200 plus yards, 250 plus yards. DK Metcalf also had himself a game with one touchdown to show for it. But 183 yards at 11 receptions. Defensive wise, there was nobody really that stood out. Um, Brian Branch was all over the place. B Wax was all over the place. Um, it was our defense was on the field a lot, so I expect for them to have a pretty significant amount of tackles. Now we only got one sack, and that was not. I believe we got one sack. That wasn't exactly the game that I was thinking would happen. And now we're zero two to start the year. What I'm gonna do for this next video, I'm gonna play around with the sliders, see what we can do. Um, but make sure you guys leave a like, and I'll see you guys later.